Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how you can define functions on your calculator, um, maybe some functions you never really thought about defining. Um, and this is for students primarily maybe in Algebra 1 or Geometry, or if you're just new to the Inspire, some things that you can do. Um, so, for example, one thing that you might want to do is find slope between uh, two points. So maybe you're going to have to do that a lot. So what you could do is, um, I guess if it's slope, maybe we would call the function m. So I'm going to say m of... And if you think about it, uh, what I really want to do, so before I get into it, is I really want to do change in y, so like y2 minus y1, and then I want to divide that by the change in x, so x2 minus x1. So I want to do this, and I want to have the Inspire just kind of spit out the answer. So um, you can see I hit enter, and the Inspire did some weird algebra, and it decided to flip them for me. And that's fine. Um, so I'm going to call it m, because m is usually what you call slope. And it's a function, so I open parentheses. And now it's going to be a function of two points. So what I need to do is tell it the point. So I'm going to say uh, x1 comma y1 comma x2 comma y2. So this function is going to take four inputs, and then it's going to output the slope of the line between them. So I need to make a function. So I'm going to press control, and then the templates button gives me a colon equals. And now I need to type the formula. So I'm going to type it again. So control and then division gives me this. So I want to do y2 minus y1. And then I want to divide that by x2 minus x1. And when I press enter here, it's going to say done. So done means that it's now a function. So I can type m of, I don't know, 1, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4. So what I'm doing here is I'm finding the slope between the point 1, comma, 2 and 3 comma 4. So if you think about it, the change in y should be 4 minus 2, so 2 over the change in x is 3 minus 1, which is 2. So I should just get 1 here, which is fine. But what if the point um, is a little stranger? So because I defined a function, it's now in the bar key. So m of, so say the point is 1 half comma negative 3. And the second point is, let's say, 3 fifths comma, I don't know, negative two-sevenths. So I should really use a fraction. To, you want to get in the habit of using the fraction template as often as possible, so two-sevenths. So this is going to find the slope of the line between one-half negative three and three-fifths comma negative two-sevenths. So we got two points. Both of them are kind of ugly. When I press enter, though, the calculator doesn't care. It works it out for us. It gets 190 over seven. So that's a pretty nice function that we can de define. Um, and I want to stress, anything that you are regularly plugging values into, you could define as a function. Um, another really common one would be distance. So the distance formula is change in x squared um, plus change in y squared, and then the square root of the whole thing. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call it d for distance of, and I'm going to do the same thing. So x1 comma y1, so that would be the first ordered pair, comma x2 comma y2, which would be the second ordered pair. So I have to make sure I'm outside the parentheses. Do control and the templates to get colon equals. Now I'm going to type in the distance formula. So control and x squared gives me a radical. And now I want x2 minus x1. And I'm going to square it. And then make sure you're outside or not in the exponent anymore. So arrow to the right. Or you can hit tab from in there. And then plus, open parentheses, y2 minus y1 get out of the parentheses, squared, and I'm going to press enter, it's going to say done. And now what can happen here is if I press the var key, I can see there's m and d are both functions. So if I want to find the distance, say I want the distance between the point 5, negative 4, and the point, I don't know, 12, comma, 3. So it's point 5, negative 4, and the point 12, 3. You have to remember that. Um, how you define the function, but when I press enter here, it's going to give me the exact value. If I want an approximate value, I would press control enter, and it gives me a decimal. Um, and now I can find the distance between any two points, and it's, it's pretty useful because um, I can use that to solve harder problems, or it just speeds things up for me. But anyway, that's um, a way that you can use your Inspire to define functions and speed things up for you, make sure you're not making mistakes over and over. When you do define a function, you want to check your function over uh, a bunch because once you define it, if you use it, it's always going to give you the right answer if you define it correctly, but it's always going to give you the wrong answer if you define it incorrectly. So 
after you type it, you do want to take a look at it and just make sure. Uh, so that's defining some functions, and I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.